Hi, I'm uh, Stephen McCall from Noise Engineering, and I'm here demoing uh, new and existing products at NAMM. Uh, the first uh, product I'm going to talk about is already out. It came out last fall. It's called the Loquella Cateritas. Uh, it's a digital oscillator. Um, it involves algorithms which uh, take two pitches. Um, it really speaks for itself, so I'm just going to move the knobs around and uh, give you a bit of a listen. Okay, uh, so it um, obviously has a pretty wide tonal voice uh, and a lot of very responsive controls and it's a lot of fun to play with. Um, okay, the next module on the list uh, is coming out uh, in the next few months. It's a new version of the uh, popular Basimilus Ateritas. Um, the differences are it's 2 HP smaller, the knobs are now offsets instead of scales, and you can CV control the switches. Uh, as well as a completely new th uh, third mode uh, that adds a much more aggressive kick. Uh, it's a pitch envelope kick now, so I'll just go from the existing skin mode to the new pitch envelope mode. Yeah, a lot more, a lot more punch. All of, this, all of the same um, sounds as the original, plus this extra kick mode, and with, you know, smaller, better. <laughs> all the things that should have been in the first one, really. Um, uh, next module I'm going to demo is the Sync Iter. Uh, also, uh, hopefully out in a, in a few short months. Um, let me put it into the right mode. Okay. Uh, this is a 4HP VCO. It's a, u a utility oscillator, essentially. Um, it has a 23 octave range, uh, so it's obviously meant for both audio and LFO use. Uh, to get that kind of range, there's a, an endless encoder. So there's two pitch modes. There's the coarse mode and the fine mode, so you can fine tune to get it to write whatever you know, pitch you actually need it to be. Turn it down. Uh, you can control the waveform with the spectrum knob. You can go between any of the, any of the perennial favorites, uh, sine square, triangle, it's all. Uh, and then once it gets to the halfway point, it starts giving you the uh, sine wave folding tones. So you get all of, all of those tones addressable via knob or CV. Uh, so this is the basic mode. There are actually three different synthesis modes in this. Uh, the next mode is called super mode, and it uh, adds a phaser uh, to the synthesis. So I'll just give you an idea of what, what that sounds like. The spectrum works the same way. Uh, you just get the different waveforms, uh, and then it gets gets phased. Okay, so uh, the third mode is uh, noise mode. Um, uh, the, the noise is a uh, specific kind of noise, which uh, is. Um, very located in, in both frequency and time, um, but it allows you to uh, like control the spectrum of it. So the spectrum knob on uh, in the noise mode essentially adds octaves of noise, and then also once you get to halfway, it starts wave folding for a almost high pass effect. Um, this kind of noise is also really good for LFO use because it's very very structured in time. You don't get little extra wiggles or anything you don't want, um, uh, but you can still control it almost as if it had a pitch. Um, uh, there's a, a built-in quantizer, it's quarter tone and semitone, uh, uh, sync mod input, phase mod input, and both unipolar, bipolar out on the front, uh, and of course one volt per octave uh, input. Um, uh, the retail should be about 250 US, uh, that's what we're shooting for, we'll know very soon. Uh, so yeah, it should be a pretty good value, uh, space and dollars. 
Um, so for uh, the next module, we're going to talk about the Confundo Funkitis. Um, let me unmute the Confundo. A rhythm, rhythm, a probability-based rhythmic crossfader. Uh, you send as inputs um, uh, two sets of four rhythms. So right now, those are coming from the numeric competitor and zero competitor accordingly. Uh, but the crossfader allows you to, well, at the grossest level, just select between two rhythms. But then you can also put it in the middle and get a rhythm that's a combination of the two. Basically, by a very simple probability, uh, there's three different probability curves um, that just combine them in different ways depending on how you want the, the character to be combined. Um, also, on the front are three three mutes for part arrangement. So it's a good, for, it's a good live performance rhythmic module. Gives uh, good writing options. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Should be out also pretty soon. Excellent. So the next. Uh, Next demo is a is a uh, more complicated demo. Let me reset that. Oh, it helped if I unmuted it. Okay. Uh, so this demo is primarily built uh, uh, or patched to demo the Jabar sequence. This is a pretty early prototype, uh, but it's doing some cool stuff. So I. Uh, I figured I'd bring it in and show it off, and it's also going to allow me to demo uh, a couple other modules that are coming out soon. So, um, so this module takes gates and produces multiple pitches. Uh, uh, and, and using some, some pretty simple math, it just permutes the notes and scales uh, to produce multiple uh, related melodic parts. Uh, it thinks very much in, in musical terms. Uh, it takes the key, you can choose the scale. There are a whole bunch of different scales. Right now we're on the whole, whole tone scale. Uh, and then for scales that admit modes, uh, you can also uh, just choose the mode or CV the mode. Um, uh, right now what you're listening to is just uh, a kick and a drone that are following the key. Uh, the key is actually being sequenced by an external sequencer. Um, I'm going to turn on one of the melodic parts here. Uh, so the, there are three transform knobs that uh, select which transforms are applied when we get particular gates. Uh, so the part I just unmuted uh, is on part one over here, so I'm going to just turn up the transform and start uh, bouncing, basically. So, so this algorithm produces just like very simple melodic cycles that combine and then become very complicated. Uh, uh, so I had a second part, transform. the key shifts, uh, which is like polyphonic key shifting isn't something that's very common in the Eurorack world, but it's awesome, so it's one of my sort of goals for this. Um, uh, so it's a pretty quick demo of that. Um, I will not, next talk about the Integra Funkitis. Um, uh, so this is a, a uh, another in my series of rhythm modules. Um, it takes four rhythms in and outputs four rhythms. Um, but allows you to modify them. Uh, there are three different modes. The mode it's in right now allows you to uh, combine the different input rhythms to the different output rhythms. So it's like a it's, it's like a diode combiner or an OR gate, except for you can select what the inputs are with the knob. So let me turn up the kick a little to emphasize that part. And make it a little more aggressive. So as I turn this, oh, let me unplug that because it's interfering. Um, so as I turn this. You'll hear the kick. We'll start essentially taking gates from the other inputs, so all the way up to all possible inputs. If you go all the way, it actually can mute the part. Um, this module is definitely intended for like a lot of like live arrangement, actually playing it uh, and dynamically producing, uh, you know, a rhythm, changing rhythmic structure. Um, there's this burn button, which also just maps all inputs to all outputs, so it's sort of like instant fill, instant pump up the intensity. Um, so yeah, this one will be out actually the first, this one's first in line, it should be out as, as soon as we can make it, uh, a few months. Um, and there's one other one I'm going to demo, which I need to go back down here. Yeah, you, wait, no, I'm missing the cable, okay. Oh, 
Okay, this is the clepsydra diazoma. This is another pretty early prototype. Um, it'll be out at earliest later this year. Um, but it's a very simple idea. Uh, let me... Okay, uh, it, it, it takes gates and turns them into step CVs. Uh, and you can control how many steps are in the cycle and, and whether it's a, essentially an up, uh, up ramp or down ramp or up down ramp. So um, I'm just gonna turn the knob. And when it's all the way to the left, you get a zero cycle, so it stays at zero voltage. Uh, oops, I missed the middle one. So the first, uh, the first notch is, is a cycle of two, so it just bounces back, back and forth between two values. You go up one, it goes between three, three values, et cetera, four, five, six, seven. Uh, it's a really easy way to sort of dial in polyrhythms. Uh, like the, uh, I mapped it to pitch here because it's uh, easiest to perceive it, but let me show you a little more. Uh, there are two channels of one of these driving two parameters on the LI to give its, because uh, the rhythmic uh, tonality change is going on. So this is really the intention of this module, or the original intention, was to do rhythmic uh, tonal changes, um, like, like you're doing right now. Um, anyway, uh, that's that, that's all I got to show for right now. Uh, there'll be plenty more later this year, but yeah. Award-winning customer service. Fast, free shipping on most orders. Own the gear of your dreams today.